Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. This is a very interesting tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to identify your new customers and how much sales you've generated through your new customers versus your old customers. So guys, a lot of effort is being put into making these tutorials. I would really be thankful if you could subscribe to my channel and also like and comment on this video and let me know how you guys are liking my videos because that will help me reach out, reach out to a lot of other people who are interested in learning Power BI. So let's get started with this tutorial. Okay, let me show you the data model that I have over here. This is the sales data that I have and I have customer ID, I have order date and then I have my sales amount. These are the three very important columns that we need to have in our database. And also, let me show you that I also have a calendar table which is mapped to my order date and the date in my calendar table. Now, I have told this n number of times on my channel that calendar table is super important to have in your data model. If you still don't know how to use a calendar table or how to create a calendar table, please watch a tutorial which is available on my channel. So, Let's begin now. The first thing that we will do here is let's create a new measure and let us first identify all our uh, customers in the table that we have. So I'm going to say uh, total number of customers. The, this is the first measure that we will be creating and I'm going to say distinct count of my customer ID from my orders table. So here we've got the total number of customers. Okay, let me bring in the date from my calendar table and get rid of quarter and day for now and also filter out the year to only show us, let's say, uh, 2020. So basic filtering and 2020. Okay, so we now have this and then now I'm going to bring in the measure that we created total number of customers into our table. Now this is giving us all the uh, customers that we had for that particular month in the year 2020 okay now let's quickly format this particular table and change the change it to bold header and have alternating rows so that it's looking little neat and nice okay now let's begin with our next uh, measure here i'm going to click here and then new measure let's identify number of new customers now okay number of new customers is equals to we will define a variable here for current customers current customers is equals to values of my customer id okay these are my all of the current customers and then i would need another variable here to define the current date where a uh, current date is equals to minimum of calendar date okay date from my calendar table okay then let's define the uh, past customers here where or old customers or let's call it past customers is equals to i'm gonna use the calculate table function here and then values from my customer id okay and then i'm going to close the bracket here comma on the next line and then i'm going to say all of my calendar date okay comma sorry close the bracket here comma the filter here is going to be calendar date is less than current date this is the variable that we have created here on top okay and then i'm going to close the bracket here and then on the next line here i'm going to define another variable here for new customers okay variable new customers is equals to i'm going to say except current customers comma past customers give me everything which is not in current customers and in past customers okay and then here i'm gonna say return what what should it return to us right so here we will be saying return count rows of my new customer okay again i'm going to close the bracket here and press enter so we now have a measure created here number of new customers 
and you can see here we've got the number as 11 so we have 11 new customers added in the year 2020 okay now let's move on to getting the sales numbers for these new customers what i'm going to do here is i'm going to copy the entire measure that we have created and then click here click on new measure and then i'm going to paste this measure here and then call this as new customer sales and make one change here at the very end of the uh, DAX here instead of count rows we will be using some x formula and some x new customer comma calculate sum of sales amount from my orders table and then i'm going to close the bracket here thrice and press enter and you will see that we've created a new measure here which has the sales amount which is what we have over here and let's quickly format this to dollar and have zero decimals okay so we've now got total number of customers number of new customers and new customer sales now we need to identify the number of past customers or old customers and their respective sales so i'm going to here go here click on new measure and call this as number of old customers is equals to my total number of customers minus number of new customers okay this is going to give me the number of old customers i'm going to bring this over here to this particular visual number of old customers which is 682 and my 11 new customers which adds on to 693 of my entire total number of customers and then if you need the number of uh, the sales amount for the old customers and then i'm going to use a measure here i'm going to call this as uh, old customer sales is equals to sum of uh, sales minus new customer sales enter and then i'm going to bring this over here you will see that we've got the value over here so if you notice uh, and let's now add the total sales so that we can compare that i have over here sales amount you can simply drag that value over here and let's quickly reformat this old customer sales here to dollar and show this in zero decimals okay so now when you if you notice this the, the total sales amount is 77,777 and our new customer sales is 1594 the balance amount of these two values here is our old customer sales so we've now identified total number of customers number of new customers new customer sales amount number of old customers old customer sales amount and my and our total sales amount so i hope that i have explained this very clearly as to how you identify your new customers and your old customer sales um, i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials